Hello and welcome to the second video in our BuddyPress series. In this tutorial we will be logging into our client community website and managing forums and groups. We begin by logging into the system by putting in our username and password. We do that up here in the header toolbar. I will type it now. and conveniently type uh, paste in the password which I have previously copied to the clipboard from an email press enter on your keyboard and now you can tell that I'm logged in because I'm on the community homepage from here we will manage the forums and the groups okay now that we are on the community homepage. Let's take a quick look at how to create forum topics and to link groups with forums so that the topics of each group can be in the forum. Let's take a quick look by looking at forums and here we have uh, some forums directory we have it uh, displayed and here we have groups and we have two groups presently one I created in a previous video called you for lack of a better title, and I'm WX Products. Let's go back to forums and let's start by actually creating a new topic, which is quite obvious. There's a button right there called New Topic. Let's actually walk through that right now. You see that it says My Topics to Topic, and then of course there's New Topic. So there's several ways of doing this. Let's create a new topic here by clicking. You see a window appears that says Create a New Topic. Um, um, let's invent something uh, new uh, no uh, let's try something like conference in Europe in uh, 2012 and uh, we'll just type a little description we intend to hold a product conference in England in the coming year. What are your thoughts? Is France better or perhaps Spain or Germany? Tags, obviously this is necessary. If we are to be able to search it, search for it, and we will put we will put uh, tags uh, conference planned uh, that's just uh, an example now this is the important the important thing post in group form you get to select which one I do not believe you can do both you can choose one or the other uh, since this is a product conference, I would put it, the post in the group form. And when I'm done, I go post topic. And it's done. Now what you're looking at right now is the forums directory. In, in the forums directory, you see all of your topics listed and which group they're associated with. We're actually going to edit the topic we just created. I want to show you some of the controls available once you've created a topic. Click on the topic and you will be able to edit it. You'll notice here beside the title on the right hand side where it says Conference in Europe 2012 you see Edit Topic, Sticky Topic, Close Topic and Delete Topic. Well obviously if you click Delete and only admins can do this the topic will completely vanish. 
close will allow it to remain but it will basically shut it down so no further comments can be uh, permitted on that topic. A sticky topic will stay on the list of topics and will not move down as new topics are added. Edit topic and let's actually click on that to have a quick look. Here you see we're into the edit mode and we can change anything we want. We can go back to the forums directory here or we could reply to the topic if we wanted here. Now let's take a quick look at the groups related to the topics. Here we see the groups and listed under the MedWorks products we have several topics available one of which is the one that we just created right at the top new product scheduled for December actually the one that we just created was holding a product conference of course you could see here comments favorites and delete delete is available for admins that allows you to delete the comment but if you want to you can actually favorite this comment and now that is a favorite comment it will be in your list of favorites or topics I believe you can also change your topics you can have the topics uh, favorite topics okay that is a brief introduction to forums and groups how to create posts create topics and how to manage everything you need to to, to be able to control and to be able to oversee in your BuddyPress installation as relating to groups and forums.